Um, I am Parukhoi, Manager of Scientific Services uh, for the City of Cape Town. From 2012, we started in the City of Cape Town to put a clear graduate program with the help of the, uh, it's, an, it's called an ISDG program, and we also have internal bursaries and external bursaries. We are doing our bit to make sure that uh, the few graduates that we, that we recruit on the program, we take them through an intense program that allow them to acquire both the soft skills and also the technical competency with the aim of getting them registered with SACNAS. Previously, I worked on various water quality uh, research projects. One of the recent ones that I worked on was on COVID-19 and the mitigation of COVID-19. I'm mainly involved with the analysis in the laboratory, but then my background is in estuarine ecology, and I'm basically looking at how the estuaries are responding to altered water quality and quantity. My responsibilities at um, scientific services include um, basically managing the operational side of the equality. So we form partnership with all the municipalities in the nine provinces. We have four regions and region one uh, is Free State, um, Gauteng and Northwest and region two is Northern Cape and the Western Cape and then the, uh, region three is uh, KwaZulu Natal and East, Eastern Cape and region four is Mpumalanga and Limpopo. So all those regions have the, the leaders and uh, people who are more actually who have been in the sector, who understand the sector. I'm the head of the department for scientific services for the Ekoleni Water Care Company, otherwise known as ARVAT. We're also involved in research projects and collaborations with various research institutions and universities. So our laboratory carries out numerous testing from industrial effluent that's coming into our wastewater treatment works throughout the chain and the process, the different units in the process, as well as sludge analyses, and then the final effluent and up and downstream of the rivers that we discharge to. So the testing entails a lot of different analyses, both chemical and microbiological, and is quite extensive to determine what we need to do to make changes on the works. What we've seen over the years is that municipalities and municipal labs have certain skills, and whether it's more on the clean water side or the wastewater, we could form a collaboration. They're analysing samples that maybe one lab is set up for and where there's another is not set up to do. So for example, some of the instrumentation we know is very expensive. Um, it costs a lot to, to implement and to accredit as I mentioned earlier. So if one lab has that available facility for a certain test method, this could then assist other laboratories where they could subcontract to those municipal labs. I'm a manager of process technology. Brandwater is a bulk water services provider for drinking water. The burning issue that is shared at, at the moment is water scarcity. I think one uh, a water source that was standardly looked as it was going to sustain the populations was surface water, mainly called fresh water sources, which are seen in oceans and lakes and in rivers. But due to the uh, effects that have been uh, felt from climate change and its impact from uh, the growing population, from the urbanization, water pollution, I think it has been seen across the globe that those water sources are no longer enough. There's a lot of demand on those fresh water sources to the extent that we have to turn our eyes to other alternative sources. We are turning now into wastewater reclamation and reuse. You can no longer view sources of water as a singular source. We're bringing in a portfolio of water sources to try and meet the demand. I'm the acting deputy head of scientific services at Etekini Water and Sanitation. Mainly we've got uh, water that has been treated from the catchment, which is from our bulk water supply. There are boreholes at uh, at certain points where the reticulation system has not reached, but generally the plan was as the bulk water and the reticulation is getting into that catchment, 
we, we close down those reser those boreholes and then make sure people are using the water from the tap. I'm doing C pages on this instrument, GCECD, to check the water that is leaking anyway. It could be on the road, in your yard or wherever. The municipality is interested in any water that is leaking. So I'm testing wastewater and uh, the different types of nutrients I'm testing is the levels of chloride, ammonia, nitrate, nitrites and uh, phosphates present in waste water samples. So each and every method needs to have its own QC. So that QC um, is used as the assurance for our results that our results indeed are valid. The taking water is safe for human consumption. I work for the Water Research Commission. I manage uh, water-related research that is largely on water quality, uh, water treatment technology, as well as water distribution and supply in communities. Wastewater surveillance is a new and complementary tool for public health and as well as uh, water resources management. It gives an indication of the infection of COVID-19 in communities and also it supports the uh, measures by government in uh, combating the spread of COVID-19 in uh, communities. Health uh, surveillance on its own so is what this program brings. Uh, so the use of wastewater uh, for public health surveillance and also uh, at the same time for water quality management is one of the benefits that this program brings because uh, in it you'll be able to assess the general health of your communities and also in terms of your wastewater treatment capabilities uh, some of the results that you can get from the surveillance of your wastewater can really tell you how effective your processes are in treating the wastewater that is coming to your plant. Ideally, we would want uh, to move to a stage where really, uh, whether district or local municipalities are able to plan accordingly. Uh, by planning, I mean that to be able to allocate the resources that are required to be able to adopt the program, uh, the resources, uh, meaning uh, your budget, uh, your infrastructure, as well as the HR capacity, because you need uh, your warm bodies to be able to take the samples, analyze the samples, interpret the information, and also present the information so that it can support decision making. I am the director of uh, water abstraction and in-stream use. Uh, recently been appointed as the um, scientific and technical specialist for the revival of uh, the blue and the green drop. The blue drop is the drinking water quality. Drinking water quality is that the regulator is striving for excellence in terms of ensuring that the citizens receive the drinking water quality of acceptable standards in terms of South African national standards. When we talk about the green drop certification, we're looking at the water resources point of view to say that whatever is being discharged into our water resources is of an acceptable standard in terms of the departmental uh, uh, standards. 